to my Rhineland Railway Network. Um, I'm making a uh, control panel for the Venlo yard. Um, this is the way um, I do it. There are so many different ways to make a, a panel. Uh, basically, this is just uh, paint on, uh, on windows and uh, just a schematic of the, uh, the track plan with some descriptions where necessary and the circles are the turnouts, crossings, etc. that um, will have a switch on them for uh, operating. Uh, something that I've found very useful for uh, various hobbies, but particularly also for a monorail, is, um, is a laminator. Uh, you can get them fairly cheaply, uh, and uh, you then get packs of, uh, of plastic that will go through the, the laminator and become hard. And I found two very... Uh, very useful uh, items. One is, of course, just to laminate, just to laminate uh, paper, so that uh, it becomes strong and plastic. And and another really neat uh, thing is to just send a blank sheet of laminated paper through the laminator, and you uh, you get perfect uh, window panes, all the window panes you'll ever need. Well, I think you all know how a laminator works. Basically, uh, you put the uh, paper with the uh, panel design on it between two sheets of uh, laminated paper, laminated plastic, and then we just feed it through the laminator, and the laminator forms a, a hard plastic. And now we have a, a hard, firm nice smooth surface. But also what you can do if it is uh, send a, um, a piece of laminator, laminate, laminator sheet through without any without anything in it and it forms a nice firm clear plastic sheet. So here's our uh, clear plastic sheet I mean just cut out any number of window panes and that you want and make any number of sheets that you need uh, here's the um, panel I'm, go I'm making at the moment that I've laminated so it's nice and firm and smooth and now I'll add that in front of a piece of a hardboard Cut the hardboard out, and then we'll have a uh, panel ready for use, ready for uh, drilling holes for the uh, toggle switches, etc. So the <clears throat> first uh, switch is mounted on the board, and I, I keep it very simple. The position of the switch simply indicates the way the turnout is facing, so that means turnout's going this way and this means the turnout's going this way just very simple so <clears throat> after uh, completing the Almir module now having a look at upper deck the um, fascia or freeze-laced I'm using strips of um, styrene. So the first piece of upper deck fascia is in place, eight centimeters deep or high styrene, painted anthracite gray. And it looks a little better than just the plain wood. So now I put a name on it. And what I 
also need to do is uh, the card card boxes for uh, Venlo Yard here and uh, DB transfer. This is the uh, transfer track here. Uh, I'll make the boxes a little a little smaller. Okay, a brief uh, final uh, update, state of play of the layout now. Here the fascia, I've added the uh, name, Venlo Town and Venlo Goods Yard. Starting to uh, add the first platform. Need to add the second platform before I can then Finally start installing the catenary, the overhead wires. Uh, that finally allowing then electric trains to uh, run on the main line. Now I've been working on the uh, industrial area, petrochem area. The um, factory here at the end of the uh, line. I added a dummy background building there and for the time being I'm calling this a Heinz food processing plant. And I've also been working on the uh, rather boring in infrastructure side of things like wiring. Um, this is the tenth and last I hope uh, feedback decoder which um, will make now up to, uh, I'll have 160 feedbacks coming off of the layout and that will basically go up here allowing for the last uh, set of feedbacks from the blocks and switches for the computer control. So. That's also been going on. An electrical uh, substation here for all the industries. Put down some uh, first bit of uh, ground cover in the uh, petrochem area here. A little bit of ballasting. It all needs to be uh, airbrushed quite a bit, had its ground cover and all the detailing, but this is the first bit of ground cover here. And then of course you've seen the petrochem area before and the access roads. And where the access roads will go. Tanker, uh, tanker filling location here. And everything's slowly moving along. The last major industry uh, to go in will be the sugar mill here. And I'll come back on that later. So where we are.